In this video clip, we are now going to explain to you how banks can create money. So, here we have a bank. If a client goes to a bank and need a loan, the bank will provide a loan to that client. They will create a loan account for the client. And this loan will have to be paid back at some stage. So to the bank, this, is, this loan account is an asset because it represents money that they're going to get back in future. Now the reason why you obtain a loan is because you want to pay for something. So in order for you to be able to pay for something using those funds, the bank has to create a deposit. You can't pay money out of a loan account. The bank first has to create a deposit account for you and you can then, which the bank will hold for you, and then you can pay whoever you owe the money from the deposit. Now this deposit therefore represents money that the bank actually owes to you or to whoever you pay the deposit to. So therefore it is a liability to the bank. Right, now you will remember that money, M, consists of cash plus deposits. So do you see that the moment a bank has given a loan and has created a deposit for the amount of the loan, it has created money. And that is how banks create money. Let's look at, at it on the balance sheet of a bank. Here I've drawn a, a small balance sheet of Bank A. If Bank A give out a loan for a thousand rand, it will be shown on the asset side as a loan of a thousand rand and it will be shown on the liability side as a deposit of a thousand rand. And these deposits form part of the money supply. Does this mean that banks can create as much money as they want to? In effect, it really does, but there is something that limits them. And that is the fact that they have to keep reserves. Banks have to keep a certain percentage of their deposits in reserves. And they have to do that for different reasons. The first reason is that there is a legal cash requirement. And currently in South Africa, that legal cash requirement that banks have to hold is two and a half percent. And they have to hold that cash with the Reserve Bank. So two and a half percent of all deposits that they hold has to be kept with the Reserve Bank in the form of cash. So if they don't have the cash available, they can't give out a loan because that loan is going to create a deposit. Banks also have to keep cash reserves for withdrawal purposes. If you have a deposit with a bank, you sometimes go to the ATM or you very, very seldom go into the bank and you withdraw money. So banks have to keep a certain percentage of their deposits for clients who want to withdraw their cash. And the, the bank will decide exactly how much they will need on a daily basis for that. And then banks also have to keep liquid assets. There's a certain range of instruments that banks have to keep and they have to hold 5% of all their deposits 
in the form of those liquid acids. And we will look at the different types of liquid acids later on in the course. Right, so those are the reserves that banks have to hold. So you can see that the more reserves banks have to hold, the fewer loans they will be able to create because it means they have to, if, if they create more deposits, they have to hold more reserves. So we can say that the higher the legal cash reserve requirement, the less the money that banks can create through giving out loans. So there will be a negative relationship between the legal cash requirement and the amount of mo money that can be created. And the same will apply to cash reserves. The more cash banks have to keep in the ATMs for withdrawal purposes, the less they can use to create more deposits and the same for the liquid asset requirement. The higher the liquid asset requirement, the less the money that can be created by the banks. Right, so those are the first three things that will affect the amount of money that banks can create. Another important thing that will create, that will influence the amount of money that banks can create is of course the interest rate. The interest rate at which banks will be willing to provide loans will affect the amount of loans that they can give out. Usually it will be the higher the interest rate is, the less money can be created because there will be fewer clients willing to borrow at a higher interest rate. So with the interest rate, there's also going to be a negative relationship between the level of the interest rate and the money creation. Then another factor that will influence the amount of loans that banks can create is the willingness of the bank to create loans. And that will be determined by how much risk the bank is willing to take. If a bank is willing to take more risk, they can give out more loans. If a bank is willing to take less risk, they will be able to give out fewer loans and therefore create less money. And therefore, the more risk a bank is willing to take, the more the money that they can create. But it's not only the risk behavior of banks that will affect the amount of money that can, but can be created. It will be also influenced by the risk that the clients are willing to take. So also by the client's willingness to take a plans. Sometimes the economy will be in a positive phase and there will be lots of entrepreneurs who want to start new businesses and want to borrow and um, and go to the bank and if the bank is willing to give their money, more money can be created. But sometimes there's a negative atmosphere in the economy and clients are not willing to take up loans and that will mean that less money will be created. Right, then another factor that we will discuss in more detail in the next video clip that will influence the amount of money that can be created is open market operations. Now open market operations is the mechanism that the central bank in South Africa, the Reserve Bank, has available to influence the amount of cash that is available to banks. Now you can understand that if banks have less cash available, they will be able to create less deposits, therefore they can give out fewer loans. So open market operations, I'm going to explain that later in more detail. And then the last factor that can influence the amount of money that can be created by banks has to do with how much cash, cash a bank's clients want to hold. So the percentage of deposits 
that banks' clients want to keep in cash. If, at the, if the clients want to keep a large percentage of their total deposits in cash, it means that banks have fewer cash or, or uh, less cash available for these cash requirements and therefore they will be able to create, to give out less loans and create less money. So those are the factors that will affect the amount of money that banks can create. All the different reserve requirements, the risk behavior of banks as well as clients, the interest rate, open market operations, and the percentage of deposits that clients want to keep in cash because those two will affect the amount of cash that banks have available to keep as reserves.